before, 50 Cent was the love of my life. He was the one that, dang, kind of blew that one. Lesson that I learned dating 50 Cent was that when a man wants to take care of you, let him. Let a man be a man. And this goes out to all the independent women who have been mistreated and made to do everything for themselves and they couldn't depend on nobody. So they got to the point that they don't believe in nobody. I absolutely understand. Somebody who is extremely independent, you know, I'm on my third degree. I'm in my doctorate program. I have my own place, car and whatnot. This is something that I struggle with, but I let people help me. Your relationship is good with a man is to build trust with him and allow him to help you. Because scientifically, men nine times out of 10 do not fall in love through physical touch and all this other stuff. No, no, no. He falls in love with problem solving, like helping you and solving problems for you and being a little bit stressed out from solving that problem. And then the reward he gets after, the feeling he gets after successfully doing that for you and seeing a smile on your face is what connects him to you. Just let him do little tasks. Let him, if he wants to build that bookshelf for you, let him. I know and you know that you are more than capable of doing any and everything on your own. And he knows that too, but he wants to take some of the pressure up off you, girl. Let him. I know it's hard to trust. I know, but you have to. When I was 19, there was a woman that I met and I was so thankful that she was in my life because she had met a man and she's a very independent woman. You can't tell that woman nothing. She's going to get the job done. She had been mistreated by her father and different things like that. And that's why she never believed in a man or anybody. And she's always had to do things for herself because she's the older sister. And she met this guy who was really nice to her, always trying to pay for little things here and there, not undermining her, but just trying to be, you know, kind and treat her right. And one day they got so far in a relationship and he offered to pay for her cruise tickets so she could spend time with him and his family. And she was like, I don't like this. He knows how I feel about him spending money on me. I don't even like for him to buy me a McDonald's meal. And I say, gasp. I knew in that moment, because I was getting used to allowing men to just be nice to me and do things for me as well. But at that moment, I knew to just let everything go. At the age of nine, I was like, just let everything go and let a man be nice and just move on. Because I told her to let it go and allow him to pay for those tickets and to pretend to be his wife for those next five to six days. Because that is such a green flag that he's willing to pay thousands of dollars for you to get on a cruise, to spend time with his family and bond. You are important to him. He wants to make sure you are there and you are worry free. You know, she ended up marrying him. I was right. I was right. Y'all should believe in me. Y'all should believe in me at the age I'm 25 now. I had that great advice at 19. <laughs> a visionary, I am. So, like Vivica was saying, let a man lead. You have to put some trust in order to get to the point where you can be okay to be vulnerable and trust a man to really be there. If you don't give him the opportunity and platform to, you'll never know if he actually can do it. Other than that, like and follow for more. Ciao.